Speaking of Mike Lindell, by the way, let's get to our uh, today's voicemail. If you have a message for me, I'm still catching up. When I got back from my vacation, I had 650 uh, unlistened voicemails. I'm now down to about 475. I'm working through it. Hopefully by I don't know, by mid September, I'll have I'll have worked through all of it. If you have a voicemail message for me, you can call 219 to David P. Here is a voicemail from someone who I think makes a really interesting point about my interview with Mike Lindell, which was Mike Lindell didn't even understand that I was only pretending to take the interview seriously. And that was by design. Let's take a listen to this. Hi, David. This is Joe Wallen calling yeah. from Tucson. I just watched your interview with Mike Lindell. Wow. I have to commend you on the professionalism <laughs> that you showed throughout that interview. Absolutely amazing. On the other hand, I feel so bad for Mike. Um, he did not understand at all what was going on in that interview. You were absolutely amazing, but <laughs> I hope that man gets some help. Yeah. Um, it's just sad what's going on with him. Just yes. very, very sad. But it is. Once again, huge fan. Um, love everything you do. I try to watch as much as I can. Thank you. And uh, keep up the good work. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I got I, I mentioned this a little bit before. There were people who were upset with my approach in the Mike Pillow interview saying, David, you let him get away with saying crazy stuff. It's not that I let him get away. It's that I've done enough of these interviews where I know that if I just press every single uh, statement, we don't go anywhere. And often the guest gets angry with me and hangs up. So my approach was let me pretend to take this seriously as if, as if it's a real interview, as if this guy is saying anything of actually connected to the real world substance. And let's just see where he goes with the stuff. Um, and some people got it. Some people didn't. Some people liked it. Some people didn't listen. I, I uh, that's that was my approach. And it's an approach I've taken with other cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs uh, guests. Maybe next time we'll take a different approach. We have a great bonus show planned for you today. We've hopefully worked out most of the kinks uh, from the standpoint of the bonus show. The House has passed the John Lewis voting rights bill and it is being sent to the Senate. It will be a tougher fight in the Senate. And we'll talk about what the outlook is in the Senate. Airbnb is going to be providing housing to about 20,000 Afghan refugees around the world at no cost. Very interesting and interesting to see different for profit companies now uh, getting weighing in in some way participating. Is it posturing? Is it a political statement? Is it both? Is it marketing? We'll talk about that. We'll get Pat's opinion. And Oregon is implementing a mask mandate outdoors, outdoors where there is no evidence the virus actually spreads. Um, regardless of vaccination status. And my my question is. I'm all on board with the indoor because we know what the spread is indoor. Do you lose people when you go beyond that and go back to the outdoor stuff, which I think we had figured out? Are we better off actually sticking to the science on that? We'll discuss that and more on today's bonus show. How do you get access to the bonus show? Very simple. Two ways. One, get a membership at joinpacman.com. Very easy. You'll be signed up in 30 seconds and you'll be listening to or watching today's bonus show. Second option, if you prefer to pledge on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash David Pacman show, make a pledge and you will also be able to access the bonus show. I will see you then. We're here all week. Uh, and next week we'll be off on Monday, Labor Day, but many, many shows between now and then.